morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Mr. Moser's Meandering Monday. I am in Lake Lure, North Carolina, and as you can see, I am at the Lake Lure Flowering Bridge. I'll give you a little tour of this unique thing up here in Lake Lure. Hope you enjoy it. From Crowder's Creek Elementary, Lake Lure, North Carolina is about 90 minutes northwest of our location. The town of Lake Lure began in 1902 with land purchased by the Morse family. In 1925, Lake Lure was created with the construction of the Carolina Mountain Power Company who wanted to build a dam on the Broad River to create electricity for the area. Lake Lure also features a sandy beach where you can lie out and go swimming or there's also boating on the lake. It also includes spray fountains and water slides. Lake Lure is also home to the Lake Lure Inn and Spa, built in 1927 and was a filming location for the 1987 movie Dirty Dancing. And now the focus of today's video is the bridge that connects Lake Lure over the river to Chimney Rock. The bridge was built in 1925, it's 155 feet long and 20 feet wide. The bridge was used by cars until 2010 when a bigger, wider bridge was built to connect the two towns. Area residents decided to save the bridge and make it a walking bridge with plants for area residents to enjoy. The bridge is now celebrating its 10th anniversary. It took residents over three years to plant the plants and plan the walking areas for this bridge. The flowering bridge features many different types of plants, a mobile phone tour so you can listen on your phone about different plants, and a sensory tour for visually impaired guests. There are many signs and places to sit in the garden so you can read more about the plants or just relax. It also features areas where you can learn about butterflies in the area and birds that come visit this garden. If you look closely through the garden, there are rocks painted to look like famous children's books. Keep your eyes open if you go visit. There seems to be things hidden everywhere throughout the garden. As you can see, little fairy buildings, other books, places to sit, and you never know what you might find at this flowering garden. Check this out. The Lake Lure Flowering Bridge is home to more than 2,000 different types of plants, all taken care of by volunteers. The Flowering Bridge has also been designated as a Monarch Butterfly Way Station which means this is an area monarch butterflies like to stop as they migrate, which means travel from one location to another. I hope you enjoyed today's tour of the Lake Lure Flowering Bridge. That's it for today's Meandering Monday. I'll see you next week.